Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as you tuned in. By the way, for those yeah who just watched my video, I am Teacher Raya, a licensed professional teacher, and I also have more than five years of ESL teaching. And I also get the chance to do the initial interview. Um, sometimes I was tasked by our um, HR from my previous um, school. So I also have some tips on how to um, make your initial interview to be great and you will ace it. Okay, so let's proceed for the topic for today, how to ace that ESL job interview. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so allow me first to read this um, quotation or line from T.S. Eliot. It says that only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. Okay, so you have to risk. You have to start your first job interview. I know that's, yes, I think most of us, yes, have started or experienced okay, our first job interview. And yes, that is really scary. Yes, butterflies in your stomach or sometimes you don't want to eat you know, just to practice or just to prepare your first job interview ever. So why is there a need to prepare for that job interview? Why do we have to prepare for it? Okay, well, of course, you need that job. Okay, you want to be, you want to work okay, to, that, um, to that dream company that you want. Okay, so you have to prepare. You don't just... Um, receive the call okay you are scheduled for a job interview and then you just go there right away <laughs> okay so you, uh, most others would have a week or two days before, prior to the um, scheduled interview so they have to prepare okay these are some of the lists that you need to prepare for your interview okay, first is choose your appropriate attire okay for the ladies or the women out there so if you want or if you are comfortable with the skirt then this should be yes appropriate okay, this is the perfect fit well of course it's okay to wear slacks i in my case yes i'm comfortable wearing slacks than this okay but it's also okay not to have yes this one as long as your inner is also formal just like this okay so you can also wear it this way for gentlemen okay so you can do it you can wear like it like this no no need to worry about the suit or the or the tie okay so not too formal so it's just something yes about your yes semi formal semi formal is okay sorry for that okay next thing to prepare is to practice greeting your interviewer okay so how would you smile that um you don't look like very nervous or it's not obvious that you are nervous so there is somewhat like um, interviewers can identify yeah, that you are nervous based on your smile yeah it's not that genuine okay so practice smiling <laughs> look at the look at the mirror so and then say hi and then of course try to practice the proper handshake okay so as you can see or as you observe okay the handshake is just firm it's not really that tight and not also that loose okay, it's just firm okay, it signals that you want the job okay so something like that so you practice that one okay next is study your resume and know everything about it okay so well of course i hope that you are you're the one who made your resume okay because tendency is when the interviewer is looking or reading at your resume and you're telling something else that is yes totally different from the resume itself yes you will really have a problem on that Okay, so make sure that you review your resume. What the what have you written on there? Yeah, so practice or study. Okay, next is okay. Um, our very <laughs> interesting topic for ten, for today. Okay, we have here practice your answers to the most common interview questions. Okay, so you have to prepare for this. This is the thing that you need to prepare. Okay, so the first very common a uh, commonly asked question okay so we have here tell me about yourself there are many applicants who failed because um they had the wrong conception or misconception about yes answering this question so how do you how do we really answer this question okay so what you need to do is just to provide extra information 
aside from what is written or from yes from what is being read in your resume okay focus on your strengths and what interests you to apply for the position okay so uh you don't need to say like well i am you mentioned your name well of course it's a big name out there in your resume and the interviewer is looking at your resume okay so you don't need to uh, mention your personal information like um you're married how many children you got where do you live okay so you, yes you cross that out okay so that is not the thing okay when you answer the question so extra information because um, essentially for this kind of question um, what do you really want to, you highlight on what you really want your interviewer to remember about you okay because this question okay it's something it's something it's something like um, first impressions last as they say okay so yes it's now that it's now the step to put your best foot forward okay so example question i mean example answer to the question okay so this is how i organize okay, the thought well it, it's up to you if you can follow this but not word by word okay probably the content okay it's fine yeah i also actually just added some ideas um thanks for google <laughs> thanks to google but yes um i just designed this one so that it will be yes appropriate for um first timers uh, esl okay, aspirant esl teachers okay so how to answer tell me about yourself okay so you can say this one i am a passionate english educator with the aim to further develop my interpersonal and teaching strategy skills as an esl teacher as i am interested in shaping the children's future as they become globally competitive individuals. It is a great pride for me to, de to delivering first-hand teaching service to my non-native English learners while being in a lively and dynamic environment. Okay, yes. So, um, your, your uh, what's this? Your fluency in speaking and your confidence really add, yes, add points, okay, to the interviewer. Okay, and the interviewer will be just listening to you. Um, she'll be more interested to um, listen more okay what you can offer to the company okay another um, frequently asked question okay what do you know about the company okay so i'm pretty sure that before you applied of course you already have checked the website or the facebook page okay yes um, you have heard or asked your friends what is the company about okay so you do research about the company you highlight their its mission vision and also you complement them by mentioning at least one or two facts about the company and for um first time esl yes, applicants of course you don't have any experience yet so i'm just try to avoid talking about high pay okay so yes um you will have that um aura that you are just looking for the money okay and you won't really like to work harder <laughs> yes so just don't mention about the high pay um this one is just okay for those who already have work experiences so they can demand but for us um from first timers of course we need experience so yes so we always start from scratch right yes so um just um you anyway you will be promoted if you will do well in your job in the future if you will be hired okay so here's how to answer this question okay. i know you're one of the biggest providers of english tutorials in the philippines since 2008 or it depends on yes from your research okay so it's just my example here when the esl industry has just started sprouting in asia the story on your websites about us page was interesting for me and it seems like there's a big need for more tutors based on how quickly you've grown. I read that you doubled in size last year and you are on track to do it again this year. It excites me to hopefully being part of this growing company. Okay, see, there is really excitement. Okay, and of course, it will also um, have, yes, in your, um, in, your, in your tone of voice that you are also excited okay so do not let like the interviewer becoming like a dull moment okay so you you have the tendency to 
just make it boring so make it sure that it's lively so if there are positive ways or positive words so make it more alive okay so let's have the next question i i guess this is the last one okay could you convince me that this job is right for you this question is most likely the same have the same concept with these questions like why should we hire you why are you fit for the job how can you be an or what is your edge among the other applicants okay well in that scenario please do not try to um, give negative things about the other applicants like you will say actually ma'am um, i have the edge from the other applicant because you know what ma'am um, the next applic um, the applicant next to me she's actually late ma'am and i think you don't like you don't like that so do not talk about the other applicants focus on your strength focus on what you can do to the company okay and not the other way around so not uh not thinking on what the company can do to you okay because it's you who are needing them so yeah, what can you offer to the company what do you have how can the company benefit yes your presence in their in their job i mean in their company okay so here's how you will answer this question okay so you can say for starters and as and as a recent college graduate i have all the skills and experience listed in the job description and i'm confident that i can make an an immediate impact on your company my passion and commitment to the job surely drive me to succeed if chosen for this role i will continue to deliver high quality work ethics for the continued success of your growing institution and with a smile again okay so show confidence okay whenever okay whenever needed well i hope that from these questions from these example answers that i provide is you'll be able to nail your job interview and yes lastly we still have one last question okay what do you need to do to get regular bookings from your students mm -hmm. since it's online well i'm it could also be applied to office based okay for online or home based yes so you state um concrete qualities that you acquire okay so um the, the institution or the school would also like to know um how can because it's yes per booking yes you will have higher um higher um, pays a higher salary yes if you do have a lot of students booked in your in your schedule okay so here's how to answer this question aside from being consistent on having perfect attendance i also bring a proficient commitment to the tasks the tasks given to me i highly value professionalism in keeping my credibility in my chosen career okay there you go well after um having this said i'm pretty sure that you will nail the job interview and you will ace it okay so another um tips in, in your answers choose the right words especially um verbs that have strong meanings okay so avoid using like modal verbs i am able to or Yes, um, we'll have, okay, so verbs with strong meaning, so, and also adjectives, okay, that is very um, efficient or a right or a fit for, okay, the, the description, okay, so, uh, you will have that one or I will, I will have another video for that, okay, so, thank you, I hope that you learn okay, tips and uh, possible answers to those frequently asked questions and break a leg uh, i know for sure that you will nail your first job interview congratulations in advance okay thank you and see you in my next videos please don't forget to like and subscribe see you and have a great day ahead